presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah. and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable, and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you freely and easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 121, Nasdaq's down 42, S&P's off six and a half. Gold, gold contract down 80 cents, trading at 1963 an ounce. We have silver up 80 cents, 984. No, no, that's platinum. Silver up 25 cents, twenty five dollars twenty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck fifty one, trading out at seventy five dollars thirty eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten year note down sixteen ticks, trading one twelve seventeen. The thirty year down twenty at one twenty six twelve. And King dollar, King dollar is up one hundred and seventy one ticks, trading ninety nine nine forty six. The euro is at one twelve. The yen is at one thirty eight, and the British pound is at one. 30 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at it. Well, let's go. We're going to go to the SPY and the E-minis first. And what you're going to see, this bar has big volume, folks. It had as much volume in three minutes into the bar uh, as the rest of the day. So we're going to stay at these levels. You can see, you can see what's happening here. Look at this bar. This bar, and we're on, you're at nine minutes on this bar. It's the biggest bar of the day we have, you know. So bottom line is that this thing, you know, it can get down to the bottom of it, it you know, it, it can flatten out. But you can see 45,000 contracts, that's inside the um, E-mini. If we go over to the SPY and take a look at the SPY, you're going to have the same type of setup. You know, you broke lower. And you can see that baby right there. That's uh, 1.9 million. This is, the thing that was wild is that the, the swing point only had 900,000. And we were on this bar here, we were actually at 300, no, 400,000 at uh, three minutes into the bar. So the bottom line, that's sticking out like a sore thumb. And we'll see where it shakes out. But meaning that it's going to stay lower. Gold. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? Bottom line, this thing's off to the races. Uh, you take a look at gold. Gold is flat out here today. We are at a price point of uh, 1963. We went to 1954. We rejected lower price, and we're going to have lighter volume. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. So you can see what we did here. Uh, yesterday, you had volume of uh, 241,000. The day before, we had volume of 271. We pulled back into the 271, the, the bar. We had 183. Bottom line, rejected lower price, and right now you're at 1963. This is setting up that now it wants to try to get up and break the 1987 area. And, you know, bottom line, my take is that when you take a look at this, the way this is set up, 
is that you already, you know, you broke the downturn in a big way. So gold's on its way now to 2102. NASDAQ. Let's go to the NASDAQ. You're going to see the same setup in the NASDAQ, the NQs first. We take a look at the NQs. You're going to see the same type of setup. Pull this back so you can see it quite clearly. You can see the expansion of volume in the NQs. That's uh, 17,651. It broke in the swing of 15,000. Bottom line, it's broken all the swings here. That's, that's the bottom line. If we take a look at the Qs, you're going to see the same deal inside the Qs. Pull that back a little. You can see that big spike. See that bar? So the, the little swing there had uh, eight, no, 867,000 shares. We broke that with 1.5 million. You know, so the bottom line is that you're, you're gonna, they're going to sell this into the close. And we go to the dollar. The thing that's really crazy here, man, is that you know it's about time the dollar did get a bounce. But it is wild that you just get a little bounce in the dollar, and you know the market basically you know can't handle it, which is really wild, man. You know, now my take is that we're going the so the dollar. Oh, yeah, one second, close this. The dollar went down to ninety nine five seventy eight. So you went four hundred ticks over in the dollar. Okay, up in the dollar. That being said, when you take a look at how this dollar is set up, we'll put this on a longer basis. What you're going to see is that you get a decisive break, man. You get a, that's that's a decisive break. If anything's a break. And that says that your next stop, well, actually, your next stop just on like a daily gets you down to 96. On the week, on the monthly, it gets you down to, my God, it's, yeah, on the monthly, we're right down here, 89. You know, so bottom line, lower prices uh, in the dollar should set up so this is what's going to get interesting here is that we'll see how the dollar bounces first and as the dollar bounces i expect that you know the market will pull back a bit so if let's picture the dollar bouncing if the market starts pulling back on light volume all is that is setting up okay is a higher market once the dollar turns again and goes back down again okay because the, when the when the dollar is going down, this market wants higher price, gold wants higher price, silver wants higher price. Let's go over the oil market, CLA, because you can see that just that little tiny move. The thing that's pretty wild is that just that smaller move in, in the dollar, uh, bottom line, you know, made a difference. You know, yesterday we went up a buck fifty-eight. Today we're down a buck fifty-eight. And, yeah, see, that's interesting. See, there's more volume yesterday. So the bottom line, and yes, they had a higher high. So oil's not done also. Oil wants higher price, man. Wild. Absolutely wild. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 143. NASDAQ is down 41. S&P's off four and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up by 154. NASDAQ is uh, down 33. S&Ps are uh, down three and a half. Let's go take a look at inside the Dow Industrials. So the banks come out with their numbers today. Monster numbers, folks, okay? Monster numbers, too. And the interest rate structure. I mean, uh, it, it's pretty amazing, you know, in the context. J.P. Morgan, bottom line, Tommy was bringing this up this morning, $81 billion dollars. They made in the spread between what they pay for money and what they sell money for. And so it's $81 billion in 90 days, right? Uh, inside the Dow right now, you have, uh, and, and this, well, this is quite a stat. Listen to this that United Health, folks, okay? This is what's really crazy. Inside the Dow Industrials, United Health is bigger than all the banks put together, which is a total mind blower. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials. Anyway, the, you know, we see it move every day, but today what's going on out of this 154, well, guess what? United Health is putting 225 points into it. Microsoft's putting 18, Home Depot's putting 14. Taken away from it, you got Boeing minus 23, we got Chevron minus 23, you have uh, Honey, Honeywell minus 14, and you got Travelers minus 13. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, you got, what's that, Copart? Yeah, Copart's up 2.8%. Uh, Dexcom is up 2.5. Intuitive Surgical up 2.1. Workday is up 1.5. Taken away from it, uh, Lucent is off 5.5%. Uh, you got uh, Walgreens Boots off 5%. Uh, Moder Moderna is off 4%. Let me go look at Walgreens Boots and see, see what's going on here, man. This gets interesting. Yeah, so you got late volume here. Put this back on a weekly. Look at that. This is this is. So you know you know you know what you have happening here. Oh, oh no no, this is Warner Brothers. I got it. Ooh, I knew something was wrong, man. I'm saying to myself, hold it. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this is Warner Brothers. Well, <laughs> now let's bring up Walgreens. Okay, well. Yeah, whole different ball game. Didn't make it. I was trying to figure out, like, okay, man. Oh, look at that's a bad looking chart too. Yeah, yeah. Let me look at this then. Okay. Yeah, you know, this is what's going on, man. 
You get United Health is eating everyone's lunch, man. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. So Walgreens Boots, let me put this back 15 years right now. Look at this. Unbelievable. So you had your high in 2015. And what's going on, now let's, let's go to UNH. Because you have the lows 445, the highs 558. Yeah, they're eating everyone's lunch, man. I mean, they're, they're in the prescription drug business in a monster way, not in a small way. It's like, and they're, they're, eating, they're eating everyone's lunch, man. Yeah, look at this chart. You know, wow. They're, they're taking them. Now, picture, what's going to be intriguing, what is intriguing about that is that the, they make the deal. United Health makes the deal with Walgreens, distributing, because if you, you know, you have the, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if it's Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid, Medicare, whatever, whatever it is. That, that drug plan that you, you get with the, the B, right? The bottom line is you, if you have United Health, they have a deal with Walgreens, but they must be paying nothing for those drugs, man, because Walgreens just keep going down, where well, United Health just keeps going up. So it is, that's about as wild as it get. The GDX, so let's take a look at the GDX out here. That's on its way a lot higher. So the GDX, you know, today you're up, uh, you're flat. We put this on a weekly. What you're going to see, you get a decisive break of the downtrend. You can see that wide price spread, accelerated volume on the weekly. Look at this. So on the weekly this week, we had 115 million shares. Bottom line, the swing high is 128. But I expect that as we start going high, you'll see that expand. We go to the XAU, the HUI. It's all going to be out here, folks. And they all broke their downtrends. XAU, let's trade in 127. Yeah, which is in spades. You can see this. I don't have the volume today, but I bet even we just put this up, this is going to be good volume just for the last four days. Yeah, it is. So you can see we already did last week. Well, let's say the week before that, because that wasn't a holiday. We did 88 million. We did 84 million, not counting tonight's, today's volume. So you can see that's also wide price spread. That's saying the next move in the XAU, we're at 127. The next swing point up there is 145. That's game. And we go into the Gold Bugs Index. And we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Look at that. That's what a nice break that is, man. Holy cow. You could, you could take that all the way down. This is a classic. Now let me put this on a weekly. Same deal. Yep, same deal. And, you know, the, the Gold Bugs Index right now, you're 247, 284 is game. And, you know, this thing is wide open now, man. And it's wide open. That U.S. dollar is wide open. And the, the bottom line is that we'll see how the rest of it shakes out. But it's wide open for higher prices. We got to take a look at the, Let me pull up Harmony. Because what was happening in last week's gold report, the South African equities just weren't acting right. But guess what? They were buying them, too. So, and I suspect, yeah, see, Harmony's all right, too. I mean, Harmony's... Trading 460 and 517 is game. And this has to do with the rand. That's why I, I, I didn't like what they looked like, I tell you, Monday morning when I was doing the gold report. There's no doubt about that. And I suspect that, you know, the, see the rand, the high of the rand was 19. Now, as that rand comes down, that does basically bring their expenses higher because, of course, what ends up happening is that they collect U.S. dollars, and what ends up happening is that 
they pay their you know employees and pay everything else in rand dollars okay so bottom line is that uh, that being said though guess what they're, they're buying and they're buying big time let's go to the copper contract we'll take a look at the copper contract because as soon as we come back from the break we're gonna have our man Frank from Gloucester on and we're gonna be looking at southern copper I like this copper contract too you get 75,000 contracts traded out here today yesterday let's see what we did this thing wants to break topside man yeah, look at that yesterday. That's fucking, that's, that's beautiful. That, that was pushing in with 104,000 contracts into 43,000 contracts. Stay right there, folks. We'll be gonna come in right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is trading up 136. We get the NASDAQ down 43. S&Ps are off six. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablet as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 128. Get the Nasdaq down 46. S&Ps are off 6.5. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, doing okay, Tommy. You? Awesome, man. You having a good summer? Well, yeah, it's been okay. It's been a little cool and rainy too much, but, um, you know, it's Has getting it? there. Huh. Wild. Yeah. Uh, so let's hey, I, I like that. I like that new commercial for the Gold Report. It sounds like Sergeant Friday on Dragnet. Okay, I like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's an AI commercial. You gotta love it, right? 
Yeah. Oh, is that it? Okay. It is. It is. It is. We've well, been playing. I don't know we've about been, AI. It seems to me like garbage in, garbage out. But well, uh, we've been playing, know. folks, with this AI. Or it, it's something else, man. I mean, there's a, there's a million different things you can do. So it's kind of interesting, just in general. Do you know what I mean? So let, let's let's yeah, take a look yeah. at Southern Copper for you. So the low for the year is 42. The high yeah. is 82. Next time they come out with numbers is on the 27th, and we take a look at this baby, and you know you, you can see you had a nice expansion this week, huge volume yesterday. We put this on the weekly. You know you're gonna you're going right after these highs, man. Let me let me put it on the monthly too. So I suspect. You got 82 is game. You're at 77. Yeah, you think it can break above that 81? Well, I mean, it looks. It's, I don't know it's, if that's an it, ABC this is what the cool not. thing is. Now, this is where this is a this is a great question. And now, this is where this comes in, folks. When you look at a Fibonacci ratio, and which is so cool. So the last pullback. Look at that. So the last pullback we did just over a 0.382, between a 0.382 and a 4.0. So that's a very... Yeah, I see it. That's, yeah. that's awesome, man. I mean, you know, that's saying yeah. that, yeah, it, that's, it didn't pull back much. It's strong. And that's saying that it can break over there. I mean, that, that's, how, that's how you read those. You know, yeah, we can't even do a 50% retracement. And then when I go to the gold, I mean, the copper contract, the copper contract is also strong. And then, of course, you know, I know you've been watching the dollar. I mean, the dollar is toast, yeah. man. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. I yeah, know. <laughs> and we take a look at the way this is set up. You know, these commodities, th this is going to be a real commodity run. I mean, that's my take on this thing. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that sticks out really sweet. Yeah, this, this looks awful good to me. Uh, you know, even going back to... The uh, the COVID low, you know, it looks like, well, I guess it retraced too much, but, uh, you know, it's it's doing real well. No, it is. It is. And the what is also happening is this, is that you can see that, you know, one, one of the brightest guys inside the mining business that is Mark Bristow. And what has happened is that, that's Barrick Gold, folks. Okay, he ran Rango Resources. He was not only the, he's still one of the largest individual owners of Barrick, of any mining company, period, okay? Um, yeah. And now the bottom line is that he wants to get into, he's convinced that the um, copper, he wants to be one of the largest copper producers because of the fact that everything's going copper, because everything's going to be electrified, so... You know, yeah. So it's it's a it's a it's a nice space to be in. There's no doubt about that. So, I think you get some okay, action. Okay, we'll give it a try. Thank you. Okay, man. Listen, you have a great one, yep. a safe one, Frank. Thank you. Our Bye -bye. phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and we go take a look at the. Uh, let's go take a look at good old Tesla. Because you know what's interesting that I didn't know that you could do this, folks. Listen to this. So. Yeah, Tesla's still moving along. So Tesla, right? I had looked into this a while ago. They ha Tesla has battery packs, okay? And the battery packs have always been pretty expensive, okay? Well, when I'm building houses, I always put gen racks in because we're in Florida. So it's, we build a hurricane house, put the gen rack in. The gen rack is a, um, with the switch, use natural gas. So if a storm comes in automatically in the main house, you still have everything. You have air conditioning, you have the free, it's just like nothing ever happened, right? Well, listen to this. This is pretty wild how this works. That the Tesla battery packs have been coming down on price, number one. They, they can operate, you have the Tesla battery pack, then you have a couple solar panels that are pushing into the battery pack. But here's the kicker that if you have a Tesla car, okay, you can transfer power from the car to the battery pack and the battery pack to the car. And I just, this was this morning, I was in a meeting this morning and 
one of my other associates was explaining to me how this thing works. And bottom line is that you can actually get electricity for appro approximately from four to about seven days. So that is going to be on the table in the future, folks, okay? Because the gen racks, the gen racks between the gen racks and the, the gas, put them in the whole bit, normally it's about 14 grand. And this is, this is the, the bigger gen rack, but the bottom line is that that's what basically, you know, what the bill is. So it's really intriguing how this is going to work out in the future if, in fact, you know, you have a house, particularly in hurricane-prone places, of places, well, it, you know what's so crazy about it when I say hurricane-prone places? Unfortunately, the Northeast has got, actually got hit more than the West Coast of Florida. Well, further down the West Coast, they got, they got creamed the last year, so I guess it depends where about we're talking. I'm talking about Tampa, St. Pete. You know, down the bottom, they get hurt, and they get hurt in a big way. But, but you get the gist of it. The gist of it is, is that that is also going to be another competing factor inside the aspect of homes when electricity goes out of that you can actually not have electricity out. So pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Some of the higher volume equities we have out here today, let's take a look at them. You get, oh, well, we got, we, you get Tesla's up two and a half dollars. Um, you get, oh, I got to look at NVIDIA now because that's crazy. When I looked at NVIDIA earlier, folks, it was up $14 and now it's down six. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Check it out. Four, yeah. And so NVIDIA had a $30 move today. $30 move. And NVIDIA, <laughs> unbelievable. NVIDIA was tra trading 480 and right now you're at 453. That is a move. Wow. Unreal. That is a move and a half. There's no doubt. Hey, it makes sense. NVIDIA has been on the move uh, top side in an incredible way. So there's no doubt about that. Uh, no doubt about that at all. Let's go over to uh, Apple and see what Apple's doing. Apple right now, flat. Flat market at Apple. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 119. NASDAQ down 40. S&P's off 7. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up at 120. You got the Nasdaq down 34. S&P's off five and a half. And you know, we do talk when you talk AI uh, on Netflix right now, folks. Is uh, um, killer robots. It's pretty intense. Uh, if you check that out, uh, it's it's worth checking out. Let me tell you that because as a man, uh, you know, in the Tigers, there's a growling and prowling out here. Yeah, there's great uses for it and there's bad uses for it. Um, and you're gonna see how this thing is shaking out, and it's pretty intense, man. Um, and it's I would say it's you you want to watch this movie, just because I don't want to get you paranoid at all. That's not the the point of watching it. The point of watching it is that how easy it is to go from a one, that what they show is this, they go from a one to a zero, right? Because that's the whole software deal. And they show that when they're doing this work, how the machine learning of the robot gets it autonomous. And autonomous means, of course, okay, that it thinks on its own. And then they showed the aspect of, uh, that's one part of it. Another part of it, which was pretty intense, is that they show the aspect of, okay, so what's going to happen is that molecule-wise, they're going to be able to go through so many compounds and all of this, you know, to basically get cures, no doubt about that, okay, which is huge, which is great. But the other side of that, and this, this is what they showed, so check this out. This is amazing, Essie. So they showed all the compounds coming across, right, and it was hundreds of thousands of compounds, right? And then now this was to basically get new drugs, you know, get new things that are going to help people. Then what the engineer did, the software engineer, he says, okay, uh, he had got a call to speak about the downside of them, right? And they showed the engineer, this was amazing, they showed the engineer, and he showed through the movie, just changing the zero to a one at the end of all of it. They had the machine going all night long. When they woke up in the morning, the bottom line is that they had, I believe they had, how many compounds? They had a couple hundred compounds that would do you under in a second. And they had 20 compounds that are worse than anything that is even on the market right now. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's about as intense as you can get. There's no doubt about that. So let's go take a look at this S&P out here. And that's all with all within the software, folks. That's what's really intense. Yeah, so this could, you can see this that these high-volume lows and highs, folks, they just love them. You know, you can see the market can't handle this right here. That When, when I first got in the air, that, that big bar, the, the market wants that big bar. So... If we take a look at this on the weeklies now, let's see what we got. I'm taking the SPY on the weekly. So you're not going to have a failure of price yet because 
you, in order to have a failure price, you'd have to close under 44430. So you got a long way to go, man. You know, you, you have light of volume. You know, you can see the first high that was generated out here was 497. Second high generated out here, 394. And now we're at 344. But in order to get, you know, bottom line a signal that our failure on price and volume, you'd have to close under that price, and we haven't. We go to the Qs. Qs haven't either. Volume-wise, you did 323 versus 242. Now, now this is this is a nice contraction. <laughs> if you if you failed on vol on price, it would have been really sweet, you know, because we get price and volume. That's that's when it's a great signal. What about this one here? Yeah, we didn't feel there either. Yeah, you, the the cues are still high. That's the bottom line. So we'll see how this sh uh, shakes out. Calendar wise, what we're going to see is this. Okay. Calendar-wise, we just started earnings, so we're going to get some good action. There's my calendar. Come on. There we go. So calendar-wise, yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have window dressing coming all the way up for two full weeks, you know. So that's, that's basically saying that there's not a real impetus at this particular point. in order to basically, um, you know, push this thing higher, you know. But I suspect that what you're going to get, that's right, keep that thing going. Bing, bing, bing. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> um, what you're going to get here is, uh, you know, a little stalling of the market. That's what it looks like. And it's going to be all about this good old U.S. dollar. If we go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, This thing got crushed. Now, if we just do, okay, so if we do a 0 0.382 from the last move, that can get you to 10, it looks like 101, 300. That would, and that, that would make sense. This is why, folks, okay? Because what happens, see that right there? What it also does, is bring you up to where the dollar broke. That's ice. And that's, that's a normal situation. You get down, you break a full consolidation, you come back up, try to get back inside the range, kind of get back inside the range, then you turn around and you go south again, and then the next move, you know, because here, yeah, well, when we already did this, well, so watch this. This being a monster ABC down, this, this is wild, this one, man. Because this one gets you, I think it gets you right down to the 79. It's 79 or 72? 89, let's see, what is this? You got one, yeah, it's 14. So, it's, yeah, it's 14 points, which is going to get you to... 90. And what's that down there? 90. Yeah. So the A to B equals C to D gets you down to 90. This is, this is where we're going, man. And we go down to 90, and we're going to have some fun in the market, you know, because that's also saying it's going to blow your mind because that's saying that the markets want to go higher, too. But you got to remember, you can have a higher price, and because just it's a higher price doesn't mean you can buy more with the exact same higher price, Okay. Because that $10 is not worth the $10 that it was even two years ago. It's worth like $7, $6, $9 maybe, you know, $8, you know. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 99, NASDAQ's down 42, S&P's off 8.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, 108. You get the NASDAQ off 34, S&P's uh, off 7. And uh, bottom line is that no matter which way you look at this, folks, okay, you, you've got to, you still got a good week underneath you, no doubt about that. Uh, we said, let's go to the silver market and take a look at silver. So, no doubt, uh, silver also got a good boost higher as the dollar went lower. And the, so right now we're at 2512. Pull this up. Put this on a continuous chart and then yeah this is good man yeah you're gonna go to the top of the range top of the range right now is 26 let me pull this back and put this on a monthly for a second because I think 30 bucks is game here let me see what this looks like yeah it is so is that 30 bucks up there? Yeah, it is. See, this is a classic. You went down, you hit the, yeah, 30 bucks. We're in the way of 30 bucks, man. 25 to 30. That's a, that's, that's a decent move. Now, what you do have happen, let me pull this back. I want to see how this did. See, at that level, you're really going to want to watch that level, too, because what we had done from the lows of, 2020 to the highs of uh, 2020, 
That's 20, no, 20, to the highs of 21. From the lows of 2020 to the highs of 2021 to the lows of 2023, we did more than a 0.78 retracement. So when you do that, most times what you're going to do is you're only going to go to the highs the first time up. Then you back down a bit. Then you're going to get going. But, you know, it's, it's always nice when you have that set up before the fact. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw the, your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.